Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my top 10 favorite new features and changes coming to your iPhone with iOS 17.3. Now, Apple is rumored to be releasing this new major update to the iPhone within the next 24 to 48 hours as of the filming of this video. So the rumored release date is January 22nd, 2024. So at about 24 hours as of the filming of this video, you'll most likely see iOS 17.3 populate on your device for you to download. And I wanted to share again in my top Top 10 favorite new features and changes with iOS 17.3 in this video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, the first feature I want to talk about is stolen device protection. Now, in case you didn't know or haven't watched my beta coverage, stolen device protection is a feature that will protect you in the rare circumstances where someone steals your phone and also happens to know your passcode. Now, this feature, if you go into settings, if you go into face ID and passcodes, you can enter your passcode right after updating to iOS 17. Point three, and you can enable this feature right there it is stolen device protection now once you enable the feature again this will prevent anyone that steals your phone from actually changing your apple id password and this is a direct response to the wall street journal's report from last year where iphone users were being targeted i'll link that in the description down below now stolen device protection also has a delay built in now basically with this delay no one can actually turn the feature off so even that they know your passcode and they try to go in here and turn it off what will happen is it will request face id number one and then it will create an hour delay before any changes can be made to your apple id password again this is a major new feature that i think everyone should enable on day one after updating to iOS 17.3 to stay protected. Now, the delay does not apply if you're at home or at work in a recognized location. I'm pretty sure your iPhone is using maps or maybe your contact information on your contact card to determine those locations of trust. But yeah, stolen device protection, easily the best new feature coming to your iPhone with iOS 17.3 alongside the, of course, security delay. Now, next I wanna shift my attention over to Apple Music. With iOS 17.3, Apple has added two new features to Apple Music, and that is collaborative playlists, which is finally here, and emoji reactions for those collaborations. So if we jump into Apple Music here after updating to iOS 17.3, we can jump into the playlist. You can create a playlist on your iPhone, tap into the playlist, and on the top right portion right here, you have the collaboration button where you can enable and share a collaborative playlist. Now right here, you also have an approval button. So if you turn this on, you would have to approve the person before they can enter this collaboration. So start collaboration here. This will enable me to share this collaboration with others. As you can see right here, I can use AirDrop, message, email, whatever. And I can use also a QR code that appears once you tap on the collaboration options on the top here. So you have this QR code right here where anyone can scan if you're next to the person and they can start joining you in that collaboration. But I think the best way to share a collaborative playlist would be with AirDrop. That way you don't have to create any links or share those QR codes. And once you enable the collaborative playlist option, let's go here into music because you also have emoji reactions, as I mentioned, right there it is. The button will allow you to react to this song in particular here with collaborative playlist plus emoji reaction. So two new features coming to your iPhone with iOS 17.3 for Apple Music, collaborative playlist, which is finally here, and emoji reaction. Super cool for Apple Music. Next, I want to shift my attention over to AirPlay. With iOS 17.3, Apple has updated AirPlay with AirPlay hotel support. Now, gradually, you'll start seeing these QR codes show up in different hotel rooms. Apple is actively working with different hotel companies around the world to provide this service for iPhone users. So basically, you walk into your room. If you see this QR code, you can launch the camera of your iPhone, scan the QR code, and get access Access to different services like Wi-Fi, AirPlay support, where you can go ahead and AirPlay to the TV in your room without an Apple TV. You can watch movies and TV shows, and maybe even other services may be provided with AirPlay and hotel support with iOS 17.3. But again, gradually you'll start seeing these QR codes in different hotels, and you'll be able to take advantage of this new feature built into iOS 17.3. Now, other changes coming to your iPhone with iOS 17.3 include a new section in settings under general we have right here it is apple care plus 
warranty section. Right here, you'll be able to see all your products and warranties in Apple Care. Right there is the entire list of my products that have Apple Care plus warranty support. This section is now found again under general. So that's something new with 17.3. We also have some updates to wallpaper. So if we go into the lock screen here and you go to add a new wallpaper, we now have a new Unity wallpaper, which is available in the Unity collection. Right there it is. And you can swipe to the right and see the different color variants and you can choose any of these new colors for the unity wallpaper which i really love i'm rocking this one right now this is the standard or stock one i should say with all the colors available and take a look at that really cool animation i love apple animations with ios they just look phenomenal now another change that apple has brought to the iphone with ios 17.3 and this one you'll probably won't notice as much but as we go here into the emergency sos if we tap into crash detection so right here apple crash detection has also been improved with ios 17.3 or optimize apple mentions that crash detection optimization for all iphone 14 and 15 models is coming with ios 17.3 so that's something also to look forward to with this new update and i wanted to update you guys on one more thing with this new software update there was a bug where you can go into the app library section here tap on the search hold on the space bar swipe over to the left back to the right and click on the search tab and it will freeze your iphone that bug has been fixed with ios 17.3 rc as you can see right there my iphone is no longer freezing i have an entire video on this so yeah these are going to be the top 10 best new features and changes coming to your iphone with ios 17.3 again if you're watching on Sunday, the 21st of January, 2024, we're about 24, no more than 48 hours away from iOS 17.3 to be available to everyone worldwide. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.